Our next story comes from the world of boxing, where trainers who dream of working with a champion must surely envy the career of Freddie Roach, who has worked with a whopping 23 title holders. Among those he's trained are Mike Tyson, Oscar De La Hoya, and Manny Pacquiao. What's even more remarkable about Roach, though, is that he's done all this while dealing with the painful and debilitating effects of Parkinson's disease, a condition that Roach concedes was most likely caused by his own years in the ring. As our Mary Carollo reports, even if boxing's to blame, Freddie Roach still loves the sport to which he's dedicated his life. What you're looking at is one of the most important training exercises in boxing what's called working the mitts. Don't drag that foot, turn it. It sharpens the boxer's skills, hones his footwork, and perfects his strategy for an upcoming fight. The man on the receiving end of these blows is one of the top boxing trainers in the business, Freddie Roach. And he can't get enough of it. I have the best job in the world because a lot of people in the world can't say they like their job. A lot of people have to go to work. I don't have to, but I want to. The 49-year-old Roach trains fighters 12 hours a day, six days a week. Make sure you get that rotation though on that shot. From nobody's off the street, all the way up to world champion Manny Pacquiao, considered by many to be the pound-for-pound -pound best. Let it come, let it come, that's all. But teaching the sport is also a lifeline for Roach because he uses it to combat a debilitating, incurable disease from taking over his body. This is keeping you healthy. You're willing to say that? 100%. 100%. Yep. The day I quit this, I'll probably die. Freddie Roach had 200 amateur and professional bouts when he was a boxer, but he's never fought anything like Parkinson's, a disease likely caused by the sport he loves. Sometimes people feel, feel sorry for me, you know. Um, I chose this sport to a point. <laughs> My dad helped me, but at the end of the day, when I was an adult, I chose it. So whatever the consequences are, I, I, I deal with it. When he was a boy, there was no choice at all. Growing up in Dedham, Massachusetts, Freddie was the fourth of seven children and was wearing gloves by the time he was a toddler. His father, Paul, himself an amateur champion, laced up all five of his boys in their backyard ring. He would say you didn't have to fight, but if you fought, life was a lot easier. You had less rules. Um, and if you chose not to fight, he was a little rough on you. I hated it as a kid because I wanted to go play with my friends and stuff like this, but I had to go to the gym every day. His heart may not have been in it, but Freddie was a natural, winning local tournaments with his father in his corner. It was enough to inspire his mother, Barbara, to get into the act, becoming the first female boxing judge in Massachusetts. But the controlled violence that her husband taught in the ring exploded into something different at home. You know, if the man came in the house in a bad mood, someone was going to get it. And it depended on whether it would be me or Freddie's oldest brother, or maybe even Freddie. Did he always use his fists? Yeah, one thing about him, we didn't get, we didn't get spanked. It was a fight, but it was one-sided. Nobody ever fought back, because we're all scared of him. He would give you black eyes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Freddie said sometimes you would step in and take the hit. I, it's not easy to stand there and watch that. Despite the abuse, Freddie still sought his father's approval and got it by dominating the local amateur ranks. After high school, he turned pro and left to train in Las Vegas under legendary cornerman Eddie Futch. When you step away from the guy, he hits you. He hits you. The gentle and respected Futch is often remembered for his merciful but controversial decision to keep Joe Frazier on his stool at the start of the 15th round against Muhammad Ali in the Thriller in Manila. I think it's gonna be over. It's all over. Under Futch, Roach became a better-than-average lightweight. Though plenty of fists found his face. A strong chin made Freddie a crowd-pleaser. But after eight years and 48 fights together, Roach is finished! It's all over! Eddie Futch, once again, thought one of his fighters had taken enough. Eddie Futch wanted you to quit. Yeah, that was a sad day. You know, Eddie called me to his office at his home. 
He told me it was time. I was 27 years old. I was crying. I took a deep breath and I said, you know what, Mr. Fudge? I said, I'm not ready. Roach returned to the ring, but with his father back in his corner. I fought five times and lost four of the five. <laughs> so Eddie was right. It was then that Roach knew his career was over. I go to the dressing room after the fight, and my dad comes up to me and says, what happened? How can you go from being so good at one time to this? And uh, I told him to go fuck himself. So, you know, um, he kind of gave up on life after that. And he died. Not, you know, of a heart attack or something like that, but I never saw him again. So um, I wish I didn't say that to him, but, you know, that's how I, that's how I felt that day. Away from the sport, Roach's life spun out of control. Lost and working only menial jobs, he spent most of his time in bars, packing on almost 50 pounds. So Roach found his way back to Futch, who gave him a job as his assistant. Freddie soon became a far better trainer than he was a fighter, and within a year, he was the lead corner man for some of the world's best. But his body began showing signs of damage. First, his left foot wouldn't properly strike the ground. Then, his girlfriend at the time noticed something else. She says to me one day, are you saying no or are you just shaking again? And I said, what do you mean? She goes, you shake all the time. And I, I didn't really notice it so much, but then, then I started noticing it. Did you know what it could mean? Nah, I had no idea. Roach was no diagnosed idea. with Parkinson's syndrome. Parkinson's is a neurological disease marked by tremors, rigidity, slowness, and loss of balance. Michael J. Fox has it. So does Muhammad Ali. Though not fatal, it has no cure. Freddie also suffers from a related condition called dystonia, where his neck painfully pitches forward and to the side. The pain I can deal with. Pain is just the state of mind. I can deal with pain. But it's embarrassing sometimes, and um, I just don't like being different. While the causes of Parkinson's are unknown, there is a growing body of evidence that shows it can be brought on by trauma to the brain through sports like boxing.